what's up guys and welcome to another video so you want to become a producer well this is the beginners guys for becoming a producer in 2021 all while being on a budget so i'm just gonna guide you through the equipment that you could use as well as the computer choices that you have as well as the software that you will need to becoming a producer all while being on a budget i'll see you in a bit So the first thing you need to decide as a new producer is the type of computer that you're going to use. So are you going to be using a Windows computer or are you going to be using a Mac computer? I personally have been using Mac from the time I started and I have never had any hiccups. So I would recommend you getting a decent Mac. If you have Windows as well, as long as your Windows based computer has enough processing power, I, it shouldn't be an issue to run any of the high-end or the professional DAWs that we're going to go into next, okay? So, when it comes to DAW, there's a variety that you could use. And DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation, all right? So, the first one we're gonna, we, we could choose is Ableton. I personally have used Ableton from the start, from since Ableton 7, I think. I've been using Ableton. And for me, I like it because it's easy to manipulate whatever I need to. And on a live basis, I could also just trigger my stems, which makes my workflow a lot more easier. A lot of producers use Ableton and you could find it for both Mac and for Windows, which is a plus. The next one is another popular one made by Apple and it's called Logic Pro. Right, so there's a new version of Logic Pro, which has a tons of toys inside there. And they, to a certain extent, they, they, they stole certain elements from Ableton, which I kind of like right now. Um, but a lot of producers use Logic Pro. A lot of tracks that you hear on the radio have used Logic Pro to create it. And the only thing, this one is only for the Mac because it's made by Apple, all right? Another popular one which seemed to be making some serious strides is Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops started a long time ago and usually people thought of it as this beginner's producing uh, software, but now it's really taken on and now it's a bit more mainstream. And you could go to Fruity, um, I think imageline.com and you could try it out for free basically. And then if you like it, then you could buy it. Uh, this one is for both Windows and Mac as well. So you have that option based on the computer, that, the type of computer that you chose. Um, another one you could try is pre, uh, Studio One by PreSonus. I used this one a couple of times. It reminds me of a fusion between Logic and Ableton, uh, but I haven't gone into depth to it. So I won't be able to give you an in-depth review of, of my, my thoughts on it but that's another professional DAW that you can use as a producer. You could also try it out as well. And the prices are pretty reasonable on this one. Okay. Now, moving on from the DAWs, we need an audio interface. I mean, yeah, you could use the inputs uh, with your microphone uh, on your, your, your computers, but mm, the audio won't be the best. But to be able to plug in a professional condenser microphone or even any instruments or to connect your speakers, your studio monitors to your computer, you would obviously need something called an audio interface. So all you do, you go on uh, Amazon, you search for audio interface and Presonus has this really cheap one, which I find is very reasonable if you're on a budget. It's only 99 bucks. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Presona, so I'm just giving you a guide as to what you can get to begin with, of course. It has two inputs, that means you could plug two instruments to um, in there and also two outputs in the back, okay? Another thing that you will need when you're starting off is a decent pair of headphones. So you might say, why don't I use my Beats or why can't I use my Beats headphones for producing? Because a lot of these companies, they add a lot of color to the, the the sound or the frequencies. So Beats, for example, adds a lot of bass 
you don't want a headphone that over exaggerates your bass you want a headphone that is actually flat when i say flat is that you hear the true frequencies coming out of everything so the, the some of them could be so expensive but i mean these are reasonable pair i have had the mx50s for a while but the mx30s they're only 69 dollars we're going based on a budget so if you want something that you could just start off with and use just to start off then you could get these the uh, mx30s okay the next thing that you might need are speakers so you have a choice either you want to get speakers or you could just use your headphones my advice if you do not want to get speakers right now then the extra money you're spending on a decent pair of headphones that are flat that you could get the true sound of what you're producing so that way nothing is exaggerated you have no extra high ends to add color or no bottom heads to make it sound like you have bass right but if you do want to get decent pair of speakers you could get those krk5 uh professional speakers they're very small they're very portable and they'll cost you about 150 dollars uh, per speaker of course you need a pair so roughly about 300 bucks all right so as long as you have all of these equipment you're on your way to go another thing you can do you could also get a midi interface all right so if we go on amazon and we search for a midi interface or midi keyboard we could get a small midi keyboard there's a variety of keyboards that you could use i really like this one i mean it's very small it's very portable uh, it has drum pads in there and it has knobs as well you could assign those knobs you could sign the drum pads to different sounds and you have the keyboard so you could play different parts this for example is made by akai it is the uh, akai lpd8 it has eight pads and of course it has eight knobs so i could assign my drums to any one of this and then what I usually do, I have another keyboard, a uh, Nord keyboard that I use as my MIDI controller, but I don't have it with me right now. So I just have all of my sounds coming from this. I drop my chords. If you cannot afford a MIDI, a MIDI keyboard, you could also do it the hard way by drawing up your chords in your DAW. So there you have it this is the ultimate beginner's guide for becoming a producer in 2021 i'll see you guys next time peace out